Welcome to ACN, and uh, we are here at Long Island, and it's the dinner, dance and fundraising for the Baldwin University. And tonight, I have the newest beauty queen, uh, Queen Beauty Universe, and the person of Abena Apia. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank and you. And how long has it been for you? Um, it's just been two weeks. I'm still processing the whole thing of having this crown. It's amazing. The first time in history Ghana's ever won an international pageant. And I'm just very grateful to God and everybody who supported me. Uh, you, you, you said you were still processing it. I mean, does that mean that uh, you had a faint hope of winning it? Uh, yes, because it's like I didn't expect it. I, I really didn't expect it. We were so many countries, 70 countries. Like, how would you know you're the one who's going to win? So all I did was I just, like, I just prayed. I just did what I had to do. And at the end of the day, I came out on top. I, it was amazing. I'm still amazed. <laughs> What, what, what can you say kind of uh, distinguish you from your other you know, contestants? I was me. I was myself. I wasn't trying to please anybody. I wasn't trying to do anything that would um, portray me in a wrong manner. So I just went with my own hair, rocked my own skin complexion, rocked my African prints. I was just me and I went as Ghana because you're representing Ghana. So I believe that you should represent the nation with its beautiful culture. So that's what I did. So basically this is your first international pageant? No, actually this is my third international pageant. I did top model of the world. I came in 15. I did Miss Universe um, in 2014. Unfortunately, I didn't place. And then now I did this one, Queen Beauty Universe and I won. Congratulations once again. Thank you. So, I mean, walk me through, like, obviously you have to present some some um, events during the pageant. I mean, walk me through some of them. What specifically did you do? Did you do? Okay, so um, for the final event, we did national costumes. So we wear our traditional wear, and then we dance, or we do a little bit, we exhibit a little bit of our culture. So what I did was I dressed as, I was from the Ashanti region and I wore my beads and my African print and everything and I danced at Dewan stage. It was very pretty. Also, we did the gala dance um, where we wear our gowns and then we also model on stage and we did bathing suit, we did question and answers and I think my strongest part was the question and answers because I love to talk because <laughs> I do mass media communications in school. So when, when I have to talk, I just talk. <laughs> so I think that was my strongest asset. And I understand that the price money comes with uh, a, a humanitarian cause. I mean, what specifically will you be doing? I am going to be supporting the Baldwin University Foundation because it has always been my dream to help other kids or other less privileged individuals who cannot afford an education to be able to afford an education. And that's what Baldwin Foundation does, and I support it. And I understand you are moving to Spain. Are you looking forward to that? I am. <laughs> I am looking forward to it. Um, Spain is beautiful. I went there for a week or two before being crowned, and it was amazing. I loved it. So I'm very excited. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and I, I was reading through a bio, and I, 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 I gleaned that uh, f at age three, you always wanted to be in this, uh, be, become a beauty queen. Yes, so my mom was Miss Ghana when she was like little, my age. So um, when she had me, she was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to turn her into a queen. So since three, she put me in pageants. She trained me like with the way I eat, the way I walk, the way I sit. Everything was like structured. So since three, she entered me into pageants. And when I was like 10, I started to like it. And I started to do it by myself. <laughs> and how do you juggle your, 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 your interest in beauty pageants or modeling with academic work? It's very hard because I'm a full-time student. I work full-time and I do modeling full-time. So it's really hard. If you're not dedicated, you you won't be able to do it. And also, I have an uncle that's always on my neck. <laughs> you have to go to school. You have to go to school. So I'm like, okay, I have to do school. School is my number one priority because those things, like beauty pageants, modeling and stuff, they come and go. But for school, it's never going to leave you. I can always do something with my education. Obviously, you are moving to Spain for a year. I mean, afterwards, I mean, what, what, what is the plan? Um, the plan is just to open my modeling school. I want to open a modeling school in Ghana, here as well, um, and train girls on how to use their talents to be able to gain something for themselves. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.